Hello everyone, and welcome to the Elite Noir Show. I'm Dwight Mitchell, and in this episode, I'm going to be reviewing the upgrades I did to my Beretta 1301 Tactical Marine Gen 2 version. The Marine Edition features a highly visible corrosion-resistant finish and Aquatec coating, ideal for maritime environments. As I said in all my other previous videos, I love all my firearm brands, otherwise I wouldn't have purchased them, but I'm a Beretta Forever kind of guy. I love Italy and all things Italian. From 2000 to 2002, I raced the MV Agusta F4 motorcycle. It was factory sponsored by MV Agusta Italy to race the F4 at the Isle of Man TT races in 2002. I was even luckier to have had the chance to live in Milan for a whole year in 2007 for work. But I, I digress. Let's get back to talking about what we came here to talk about and what you guys came to look at. My review of this this beautiful 1301. Now I can't help but personalize all my firearms. We all have our own little sense of style and I just can't help but tweaking all of my, my firearms. I gotta touch everything. When dealing with imported firearms, you must make sure the parts you are purchasing and to use are made in the USA for any imported firearm. You need to demonstrate BAF, BATFE part 922R compliance. Or you need to track every single part you take off the firearm and make sure you swap it one for one for U.S. parts. Make sure you keep all your receipts in case the ATF ever wants to, to check things out or someone else. Every upgrade component that I put on the part was made, uh, that I put on the firearm was made in the USA. So I'm good with my 922R compliance. So, so here's what was done. First thing I did, is I replaced the handguard with this uh, Aridus Industries modified Magpul handguard assembled with uh, M-Lock slots. Uh, the handguard comes with stainless steel carbon shield installed to prevent the carbon gases from reaching your hands through the M-Lock slots you know, when, you're, when you're using the firearm. Uh, number two, I put on the Aridus Industries stock adapter. Uh, I, 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 I painted this black also. Um, this works great for the Mossberg SGA uh, shotgun stock. The adapter is CNC machined from 6061 aluminum and mil spec anodized. The 3D contouring blends the receiver to the stock, you know, in a corrosion resistant manner. And I, uh, it looks very, very nice if you look at it. This Mossberg ambidextrous 12 gauge uh, shotgun bus stock uh, features uh, a spacing system for length of pull improved grip and ergonomics, and recoil reduction butt pad, and, and you know this optional cheek rider, which, which I didn't use, to help you get that optic sighted in. Uh, next, number four, I put on this uh, Nordic Components mag extension barrel clamp with uh, a QDC sling mount adapter. This was restricted to six rounds, so I live in New Jersey, and that's our maximum. Uh, I also put in the Nordic Component low drag uh, follower, this improved design reduces the shotgun follower binding up uh, inside the tube so there's no hang-ups. And then the red anodizing increases the visibility when I'm, you know, safety checking and loading uh, ammunition. Now, the Serratus Industries Tactical Aimpoint Crom was great. This co-witness, you know, Crom mount directs, uh, mounts directly to the shotgun. The crom, the crom replaces the factory plastic rail and rear sight and directly mounts the optic to the shotgun receiver. This allows the optic to sit like much lower, providing a consistent and proper cheek well, you know, when you're, you're aiming the shotgun. Number seven, I put on the Aridus Industries Quick Disconnect Mechanical Shotgun Carrier here. This comes in two parts and it disassembles. So the receiver mounts to the shotgun um, and it's detachable and it has uh, stainless steel uh, retaining springs inside uh, which allows the shotgun shells to, to stay in up or down. I've never had any issues uh, so I, I highly recommend that. Uh, number eight I put on this uh, Hollow Sun uh, 503R red dot sight the uh, HS503R is a 20 millimeter microcom. It's like designed for rifles and carbine, but it works great on the shotgun. The rotary switch has a multi-reticle system and, and 12 brightnesses. 
um, long battery life, 50K hours of battery life. Uh, I took it, mounted it up, had no issues with it whatsoever. Now, I also mounted this Sightmark Low Pro Combo Flashlight Visible IR Green Laser Sighting System, uh, which works great, you know, has it sighted in. I really haven't had a chance to use the flashlight too much because most of the time I'm shooting during the day. However, I do plan to get out and, and at night and, and practice more tactical shooting in the dark. To finish things off, I put in this uh, 1301 Pro Style Lifter. Uh, this allows the loading port to stay in the up position while loading shells into uh, the shotgun. It's, it's a thumb saver and I highly recommend it. it. It wasn't expensive. Now, unlike the regular 1301 Tactical, the Marine version comes with a threaded bore, you know, which allows you to put in the optimum bore HP chokes. So this allows you to use any of the 12 gauge OP HP chokes from Beretta to get the most performance out of your shotgun. I have three chokes, I tried them all. Uh, right now it's at, I'm using cylinder since this is my home defense shotgun. Out of the box, the Beretta 13 and Taxel was an excellent trigger and fast cycling. Um, it's a great tactical shotgun, uh, shoots much faster than, than um, and cycles much faster than I can pull a trigger. Now for me with these upgrades, it takes an already great shotgun and it just makes it even better, you know, sublime, superb. Um, we're talking next level for me. So it's, it's an excellent, you know, home protection, self-defense shotgun. Um, on top of all of this, I thought the shotgun looked awesome right out of the box, but now I think it looks super sexy and, you know, great feel. I mean, I just love everything about this shotgun. So, you know, that's all for now. Just wanted to give you a brief overview of some of the things I did. If you like the video, please share it with your friends. Remember to hit the subscribe button on YouTube or the follow button on Facebook so you'll be notified when I upload my next video. All the best until the next time, you know, we meet. Be safe, happy shooting, take care of yourself. Thank you.